I have a problem and it involves not that panel, but the power station connected to that panel. Let's get into it. This is a 300 watt Hyundai Renogy panel that is not in the sun because I need to make some changes to my door situation to better accommodate power and I'm also having a problem. So let's deal with the, let's deal with one of them at least. This little power station right here is the all powers R600. I'm having a problem with it uh, and I need to do some troubleshooting. That's the first issue. The second issue is, look at this battery right here. This is the Power Queen Mini. Love these little batteries. But I'm usually power dumping from this into something like this or into something like that. And the reason why this little power station is so nice is because it has a 60 volt input limit, which is fantastic. It's fantastic. But the watt hour capacity is very limiting. So here's what I propose. This is my fiery whatever it is, something or another. It's a mid-range joint, 1200 watt hours, 1200 maybe watt inverter, might be 1500 watts on the inverter, I don't know. But that's not important. This would be better suited for this door and I'm gonna swap it out today. But first I have to talk about why this door zone even works in the first place. This cable right here is not a typical solar power cable is actually a 12 gauge 5521 extension cable this has always been a problem because 5521 can only be adapted to more barrel connectors so i have this extension right here so i'm running a 5521 mc4 cable to that and then that extension is what allows me to get under my door as you can see that's a pretty tight fit and a typical MC4 cable wouldn't fit under my door. So this zone has been limited to like barrel style connectors, 5521, eight millimeter if I adapt it. Mike, stop making all that noise. <laughs> What's going on? I'm good. It also works right here. It can squeeze under my door really well. You can see that there's a little kink in here because sometimes people don't manage to wire well people being me and then my kids will come through and slam the door on it and it'll end up right here in this groove just getting destroyed i had a one of these cables just get smashed to pieces it broke that's how often they were closing the door on it but here's what ellie Conta did to change the game for me because ellie Conta, with its panel with its 5521 it had this fantastic adapter of 5521 female that branches out into uh, XG60, not 7909, but 8020, the new Jackery kind of style joint in Anderson. So that opened up a broad range of power stations I could put here. But that doesn't help me with this Afiri because the Afiri is an XT90. It's a big boy. <laughs> Big boy. But they also gave me another cable. Let's look at that, which is gonna help me to solve this problem. Just bear with me. I have to jump into one of my mini boxes. Um, they have also, Ellie Conta, the panels right there on my joint. It also came with this 5521 female to MC4, and this enables me to put any power station right there. As you can imagine, a 300, 200 so watt hour device against a 300 watt panel is not a good pairing anyway, which is why I had to do this, which is why this is gonna help a lot. So let's go ahead and get that into place and see what we get. At the moment right here, we're getting 70 watts. This is the problem with this particular power station. When it's charging from solar, the screen does not work. And I'm also having an issue where it seems like the DC is broken. So they told me to test just powering it down, which I did. I left the flashlight running all night um, and they told me to charge it back up. I don't like having power stations out of commission. So it's like, it's about time for me to replace this particular zone with something more useful. I tell you what, this is a fantastic feeling right here to be getting this uh, 100 watts in, knowing that it's not gonna fill this thing up as easily as it would fill this up. So this becomes a zone that I don't have to manage. And as I get more and more power stations, this becomes more of a thing where I don't have to manage these zones. I'm not quite there yet, but you know, one day, one day y'all keep subscribing, right? Now I got into all types of testing as it relates to the All Powers R600 and it's failing and all of that jazz. I made a longer, a much longer video about it. It's on Patreon. You can even create a free account and go over there and check out what I've been offering over there. We're getting the weeds a little bit over there. So check it out if you're interested.